glad that you texted me and reminded me you took your presentation told the truth and it didn't embarrass or shame anybody. You know what I'm saying? But I want to be able to talk to somebody who's telling the truth. And you guys, you just helped me check something off my list. You helped me do something that's affordable and it can just come right out of my check. You got a solution. You didn't just give us more problems. You said, this is what I can do for you, baby. It's better than what you're going to get. Do something. I have ailment, have stuff going on. And the comfort from the information that you gave me, I thought I I got a degree. I thought I knew what I was reading. I didn't understand. Mm -hmm. I had insurance through my job. When I left my job, I didn't have, I don't have life insurance. Looking for insurance. I want to yeah. take care of it, but I didn't have that information. Uh -huh. I like the name of the love group and you guys are so professional, so relevant. So personable. You helped me. I'm excited. I'm encouraged. And I want to call all the people I know that's broke, messed up. But you got money for this, that, and the other. We get our nails done. We get mm. our hair did. We go in the hair store, right? But we find money to do sezzle mm. and quad pay and everything to get our stuff. I think that you can get to those of us who don't have insurance. This pandemic has shaken us enough. They got Delta, Lambda, Zeta, all them people. That stuff is still out there. Other died, we didn't have no insurance. My mom took three hundred dollars and walked into the funeral parlor and we cremated him we've all pulled money together but my heart was broken because i ain't got no money to lend you but what i can do is give you this information okay make sure mom is and you know you look at a daughter because i got one you need to get a policy on her ass because if something happened ain't nobody gonna help you bury her but i know the shame and how embarrassing it is to ask people to help you bury somebody yeah. then you gotta listen to what they thought about the person and what they thought about you because you know you can't pay them back you know you can't pay them back but my kids don't have to work and then they're gonna know when i need insurance i gotta go to the love group y'all got it going on this presentation was awesome y'all are caretakers and i'm telling you you're about to blow up because what you're doing is right. What you're doing is right. But you know what? You made it so plain that it the appeal. Do you understand what I'm saying? Help us take care of ourselves. I'm about to call my sister and slap her ass. Like, look, this is how we gonna do this. I shouldn't have gave such a good presentation. It got me excited. It got me amped up. I'm happy and, I, and I'm excited. I'm like, oh, wow. I'm happy to die. What is that? That's how good you did. I'm gonna tell everybody. So listen, I'm gonna go because my older daughter's here and she gonna find out I'm acting up. I'm yeah. a little afraid of her, but I got insurance now. That's <laughs> <laughs> what? We're just going to say bye for now. And I just want to play blessings and favor on you and all your employees and what you're doing here. You got the right name, the love group, because I'm so excited about dying.